Well, good morning. We're back in Drift, and since last time, well, we might have found something. As you can see, we have a message. It says, who knew worm bones made great drills? Well, the last people in the field, but now so do we. Place this on an asteroid and let it rip. Now, first thing, we're going to place a beacon down on this second breathable atmosphere asteroid that I just found. And we're going to get rid of the message. Go up here. I want to place this beacon here. I was actually going to place it on the uh, first one we found, but then I found this one. And we want to configure it. All right. Now we have that. So this beacon should be visible from a much longer distance than the other one. And the other one is around here somewhere. Don't know exactly where. I'm going to go ahead and eat. Now, see if I can find it. Somewhere around here. I can find it is a marker. Okay, so I did end up having to go back to base to reorient myself. But while I was there, I also picked up more materials to make the long range beacons because we are definitely placing one in here. This is the biological cave that I found the very first dead worm in. So let's see. Here next to the short range beacon, configure it. There we go. Now, in here, we can collect some things. Uh, well, we could collect things if we had space for them. We do not have space for anything at the moment. We will shortly when I take some oxygen. I'll be in a minute or two. But and going here, you can see there's pink crystals, there's green crystals, there's all sorts of mushrooms. And go over here, see if it's still around here somewhere. Is that it? Nope, that's not it. But now there's something else floating around in here. It was around here somewhere I saw it. Where was it? Unless it's gone because I collected the bones already. Oh dear. Don't tell me I'm stuck. Okay, so we made it back to the cave. Luckily, now that we have that long range beacon, we knew exactly where we were going. And we're looking. Try not to get stuck again, shall we? That's not fun. And you can see all the mushrooms. Where was it? I wanted to show you what it looked like because it was really hard to spot. Apparently it's still really hard to spot. our entrance this was around where we got stuck it's an interesting cave Weird looking mushrooms. 
Oh, if you look in here, see them? I'm pretty sure those are also worms, but they're immature worms. So this is like a breeding asteroid. And I do not see it. So it must have disappeared once I gathered the bones. All right, but yeah, this is the cave we've been looking for. And we found one finally, and it's got all sorts of other things that we could come pick, which is why we're putting a beacon down here. So we might want to come back for the petals, which I don't know what they do yet, and the different mushrooms, and all that other fun stuff. Yeah, I, I could have sworn I saw it around here somewhere. And it was really hard to spot. In fact, the only reason I ended up spotting it was because you could examine the spot. And then your friend told you that it was probably dead. And it's like, okay, good to know. Now we're going to go ahead. Let's see. So it says that air is 7,000 meters away. I'm talking the original. And I think it was 7,000 meters. I want to say that way it could be wrong though so I actually took a chance and headed out in the direction that I thought the other breathable air asteroid was and I turned out to be right so let's place down another beacon and again it's going to be blue now I tried my best I gathered materials and everything and it will not let you build on these which is too bad it'd make a perfect little outpost however I don't know where that came from I don't see anything over me that could make that much of a shadow however it will let you place down chests so it's my goal to have each of these set up with some extra air, a couple extra batteries, and some extra food so that I have it available when I'm out. So I've got two batteries one stack of food and four air here and the other one I'm gonna do the same thing I'm gonna bring some mats out make a couple chests and if I find any more of these I'm going to try to supply them too so that if I'm really far out and I happen to be running low on supplies, I have a refill station. So yeah, we finally found 
our first biological cave, found our bones, got the knowledge on how to make one of those drills. And now we're going to go back to base and see exactly what it takes to make one. We're back at base and I should have just looked in the build menu because the drill's in there. So a mining drill requires five steel, five bones, five orange crystals, and one blue, blue crystal charged. Okay, so we don't have the bones. We don't have any charged blue crystals. We have regular blue crystals. So in order to make our first drill, it looks like we're going to have to find another one of those biological caves and find some more bones. And we'll have to go back to one of the tech asteroids and make some blue charged crystals. Still, we did finally find one and we got the tech and it does look like that is the final research available at this time so it is early access i'm assuming that there's a lot more coming but we've got the biological we've got two asteroids with breathable air which will make fantastic outposts And well, who knows what we'll find next, but I will do a video next week with anything that I find. And until then, bye for now.